But Secretary Albright, during your speech on Tuesday night, there was a line left out uh, about trusting our allies in order to defeat ISIS. Uh, in another line, you, you subbed in the word terrorism for ISIS. We have part of that speech here. I want to take a listen, uh, have our viewers hear it, and get your reaction. He has undermined our fight against terrorism by alienating our Muslim partners. He has weakened our standing in the world by threatening to walk away from our friends and our allies and by encouraging more countries to get nuclear weapons. Why did you drop that reference from your speech Tuesday night? You may laugh about this and not believe it. It just was not coming up on the teleprompter. They have not put it in. Just a technical uh, thing. Technical thing. I do believe we have to do something about ISIS. I feel that very strongly. I have said it in many, many ways. I continue to believe it. It is a job that we have to do with the help of others. It is essential. You have been vocal about that, and yet people criticize President Obama for not being strong enough on this issue, and there's a feeling in some corners of the country that because it's not part of his narrative, they're on the run, they're the JV, that it's just not, fo it's not a focus. Is that, that a fair absolute, statement? No, it's not a fair statement. I think that is very much a part of his focus. I think the question is uh, whether you scare everybody all the time. I am very saddened by the fact or furious, if I might put it that way, in terms of using the fear factor to uh, do a policy. Yeah. And I think the president uh, very much approach, uh, appreciates and understands what needs to be done. But I think that the Republican convention was nothing but fear factor, and we cannot have a policy that operates that way. Let me ask you about Donald Trump and his comments about NATO, about Russia. Now, he has reiterated many times that he will only help NATO countries that pay their fair share. This has resonated with people because he's looking like the tough guy that's going to make sure to put America first. Your reaction? Well, I think we have to understand what NATO is. NATO is the strongest military alliance in the history of the world. Uh, there are partners in it, members that are all committed to defending each other. And I do think it's important for them to pay their fair share. They are doing that. They are also providing troops in Afghanistan. Uh, and are very good partners. And I think, and I was in Warsaw during the summit, I think the kinds of things that Donald Trump said are damaging and dangerous to American security. NATO is the basis of how we make sure that our allies are safe. And for him to kind of act as if he's blackmailing our partners, they have to contribute, but they are partners. And we need to have a functioning NATO. And frankly, what he has been saying is, the most irresponsible and dangerous thing that I have ever heard a presidential candidate say about our major alliance. And, and yet, the issue of paying fair share has not been talked about. So he brings it up. You agree that NATO countries need to pay their fair share, and yet we haven't been talking That's about it. That's not true. Okay. We have talked about it. Um, I have talked about it, President Obama has talked about it, Secretary Clinton talked about it. But the basis is, what are we doing? Why do we have NATO? And what has happened is now they have taken, the alliance has taken a major step in terms of moving some troops into the Baltics and also we are going to be uh, in Poland. They are paying, they need to pay, but it is not a reason to undermine the importance of NATO, especially at a time when we are facing serious issues. And the kinds of things that Donald Trump has been saying are dangerous and hysterical. What is the most important national security issue this country faces right now? It's a combination of things. I do think fighting terrorism is uh, a high priority. It's also making clear that we need to have deterrence uh, with the Russians and also dialogue. And I think the issue here is it is, these are times where you need to use all the tools, as Hillary Clinton says, smart power. And we have a lot of priorities, and some of them are dealing with China. Some of them have to do with climate change. There is an awful lot that has to be done, and we need a leader who understands all the issues. Secretary, good to have you on the program. Wonderful to be with you. Thank you, Thank so, you much. so much.